All right, so this video is really uh, meant to be an inspiration for those of you who are like myself, who are not a musician. And I would like you for a moment to ignore the gear. What I'm using to make sounds is really irrelevant. Um, if you have a smartphone, if you have a tablet, there are apps you can do this with. If you happen to have gear and then for those of you who are musicians or as I like to say above my pay grade in terms of a skill set even though this may seem very basic it may seem very boring I also offer to you to just mess around and the way I look at those who have talent is to use that mess around because you because I, I I hear people say I get writer's block I, I don't know what to do I have no ideas what do I do and all I can think of is wow you have that talent there's a very good chance you have that gear mess around more if and maybe you might come up with some ideas so if you're able to do that ignore what the sequencer I have because none of that really matters to be honest with you yes I've done videos on this or that everybody does that. Yet, I, I want to just strip all that away for a second, and I want to just suggest something to you to try to kind of get you excited. Because the one great thing about sequencers that I really like is you don't have to have musical talent. You don't have to know how to play drums. You don't have to play an instrument. And I'm not going to get into the programming and all those things because that can come later on. If you can just try something, get some basic sounds, and then just mess around and, and just let your ears guide you. Because we spend so much time in the weeds, the technical stuff. So I don't even want to get into the language four on the floor and off beats and all those things. They're relevant. But again, I'm speaking to someone who's not new. So I've got stuff set up here. Again, what I have set up really is irrelevant. And I would just encourage you to just play. Put some stuff down. And just start playing. Just listen. We're not even worried about all of the other terminology, the velocity and the gates and triplets and randomization. It's getting back to when it was being a kid before you knew any of that stuff. And just have fun. It's not about being perfect. Maybe you used to play Legos as a kid and sure you probably followed the instructions but after a while you got bored with the instructions and you started to get a little curious and make your own gas station or your own little vehicle or car and you started to explore you went on a vacation not literally but it was just about trying stuff out there was no worry about what other people were saying and, and doing you were just having fun and that's what I love about the sequencer so what I just did is I pushed some buttons it's not about this is perfect it's not about this is a song listening and then as you're listening to stuff I can do things with the mute and pretend that I'm kind of doing DJ stuff and maybe not DJ stuff but just kind of listening and, and maybe you're not really feeling something and you can kind of change some patterns
let your ears for once. We, we, we love to use our eyes. We're lusting over things and shiny new toys. And try that for a little while. Don't worry about decay and tuning and high pass frequencies and low pass and all those things. And I get it. If you're new to this space, some of that stuff may have sounded like mumbo jumbo. But if you just punch in some stuff and listen, let your ears. This is very similar to when people play with the presets. But this is a little bit different. You're actually, you are putting something in. And then when you're done, just deconstruct it. Kind of like what you did as a kid when you tear down the tent when you made your sheets. If you had a bunk bed, you made like a, you probably did that as a kid or something similar. Mom or dad says, hey, it's time to come in, clean up your mess. This isn't what I started out with. Now you eat your dinner, you're ready to go back out and play again, jam around. Try something different. It's not about being perfect. It's about exploring. Now, some may laugh at this and say, ah, that's just random noise and anybody can do that. Yeah, what's wrong with that? (laughs) That's exactly the point. And again, to those who are the musicians, there may be something in here, you're like, ah, that's kind of cool. Because the focus seems to always be on the theory and it seems to always be on knowing these things and and they have their place. I'm not here saying that you don't need to use any of that. But let's just listen for a minute. Now, I agree. After a while, the brain is going to start to get a little tired with that. And that's where you can then getting into mixing up things. I'm not going to get into that here. Trust me, it'd be very tempting to, you know, throw a polymeter on you or a polyrhythm, whatever the kids call it. But just play around. That's really the message of this video is to play more. It's okay to get into the weeds but it's not good to live there this is Wabbit I thank you for your time I hope something in here inspired you get out there and have a lot of fun stay safe keep your head on a swivel and I do hope to catch you in another video and until then take care